Um, the second card we have is the Chariot. The third card we have is the Star card. And then we have the Nine of Swords, the Empress, the Knight of Wands, I'm sorry, the Knight of Swords, the Devil card, the Two of Swords, and the Six of Pentacles. And for the overall energy for this reading, I have the Ten of Wands. Now, I was saying in my initial video um, while I was shuffling, I felt like there was some heavy energies that you were going to be dealing with this month. And then sure enough, when I dealt, um, there are some heavy energies and I can even, I can feel them now. It's like I'm feeling this sense of anxiousness, um, fear or worry, anxiety that you're dealing with. And I feel that this energy is revolving around this empress. So this person that you're dealing with, um, it can be a mother figure. Um, it can be possibly a spouse. Um, someone that you may have children with because this empress is the mother of the tarot. Um, this can also be a Libra that you may be dealing with because um, Libra is associated with Venus. And we have this uh, female symbol right here, which speaks of Venus. Um, but if it's not a Libra, it's just someone that you have this kind of connection with, okay? Um, I feel as though, again, you know, this, if you're a female, I would say this may be you. Maybe you're the wife or you're the mother, and you're dealing with um, someone who has a very challenging energy that you're dealing with. Um, <clears throat> first off, um, at the beginning of the month, we have the Three of Swords, so we have some type of heartbreak that is taking place or has taken place. And I see that for you, maybe this heartache has been going on for some time. It's carrying on into this month. And we have the Chariot here, which is um, a war vehicle. We have a warrior sitting in this chariot, and he's um, pushing forward with his sword raised as if to say he is really trying <clears throat> to win the battle, okay? Um, he's charging into war, um, trying to do so in a way where he is fearless and just pushing forward uh, in a very um, aggressive manner. I know that, and I, I believe, I'm not sure if in March, um, Scorpio will have Mars in their sign, but I know that this Mars energy does give you that sense of power to push forward. And I see what you're wanting to push forward to is a place of healing. So you want to rectify this situation where you've had some heartache and come to a place of healing. I feel that is possible, but it's going to require some work, and I will tell you why or how, what kind of work needs to be done. Um, <clears throat> this relationship that you have with the Empress, it's a very karmic relationship. So when I say karmic relationship, what I mean is you were in this space or in this relationship because both of you had some life lessons to learn from one another. Um, some people believe that a karmic relationship involves two souls that have made um, an agreement with one another prior to arriving on earth because they were to teach each other something, a very valuable lesson. And I, I feel, I feel like this empress, whoever this is, um, this is someone that it's a very karmic relationship. You both have learned some significant life lessons in this relationship with one another. And there is, I feel like you're going through a very transitional period, um, not just in a relationship, but um, self-transformation, learning some new things about yourself. 
Um, I see that you're charging, you're charging forward with this king. I'm sorry, this knight of swords. You're charging forward um, towards this empress. So I feel that there has been a lot of conflict, a lot of strife between the two of you. Um, I feel as though there is some animosity, possibly some pent up resentment that you have been dealing with. And I feel that it goes both ways. I feel that you both are feeling this way, but you're handling it in different ways. So where your energy is very much about charging forward and taking action and, you know, maybe being a bit harsh with this empress. Um, I feel that this empress is in a space where <clears throat> there's mourning or there's um, anxiety, there's tension, and they don't know how to, to really communicate and express what they're feeling to you. They're just kind of um, in this space of, mourning and anxiety and they're conflicted with how to really um, move forward from this space. <clears throat> I also feel that with this two of swords next to the devil card, um, this is saying that you're having a difficult time letting go of this relationship and it could be possibly because you do have some connections that keep you bound to one another. <clears throat> there could be children involved in this situation with an ex, or perhaps this is a family member that you've had a big falling out with. Um, also, though, I feel this Two of Swords speaks to you can't break the bonds that are there or you feel that you can't. However, you cannot live in this space that you have been living in anymore. There needs to be a change in how this situation is approached. And I feel that that change has to come from the both of you. With the Three of Swords and the Empress and um, the Six of Pentacles as the outcome card, what this is saying to me is that in order to gain this healing, that this relationship needs both of you need to be in a place of more give and take um in this card we have two beggars two um poor it looks like children to me poor children and a woman a wealthy woman um sharing her wealth so these people come from different um backgrounds they come from different lifestyles and what this is saying to me is that even though you and this other person may have different perspectives, even possibly different objectives, you still need to come together and learn how to give and take in this relationship in order for there to be um, some healing that takes place from this space. With the overall energies being the Ten of Wands, I feel as though um, the emotional ties that you have to this relationship is becoming very um, burdensome and difficult for you to deal with um, as if all this fear and tension and animosity is just too much for you to bear, okay? Um, you may be having some restless, sleepless nights and you're having a very difficult time moving from this space of I feel anger and resentment to a space of forgiving and and healing. This situation is going to require both of you to be the bigger, better person and maybe let some things go in order to move forward. Now, um, I did pull some Sevilla cards on a couple of the cards before the camera went off. Um, I just wanted to say, because I've had some questions regarding this deck, this is the Veda Sevilla cards that I use. And um, this is the box. If you're interested in purchasing these cards, um, I have not found them in English. 
but they do come with a little booklet that has translations in English and Spanish, okay? So the first cards that I pulled were for this Three of Swords, and I got the letter writer, so communication, Bambino, the baby or something new, and Disgrazia, this is uh, similar to the Tower card in the Rider Waite deck. So what this is telling me is there's going to be some new communication coming in that may shake um, everything back down to its foundations, okay? Um, with this Tower card, the Disgrazia card, one thing that we need to remember is that typically this disgrace or this misfortune happens because there was... Um, there wasn't a solid foundation built prior to this house or this tower being built upon it. So it is necessary for this house or tower to be broken down and brought back down to the foundation so it can be rebuilt in a solid way. So whatever this news is that's coming in is um, providing uh, an opportunity for that new beginning, okay? Um, I also pulled three cards. Oh, I put these in the wrong place. Um, I also pulled three cards on this Knight of Swords. And what I got was La Dona de Servicio. Uh, this is the female maid or servant. Um, but this card can also speak to like day-to-day -day tasks or obligations that you, you errands that you run. Um, Belvedere, this is the um, outlook, um, the farsightedness. Um, perhaps having some intuition as to what is to come in. And then Giovanni Fanchula, this is the young, attractive female who is already spoken for or a mother. So um, what this is saying to me is that um, I feel as though you're missing the simplicity of the relationship prior to whatever this um unfortunate circumstance or turn of events was and I I feel like um, you're rushing towards wanting to heal and mend but also stand your ground um, and you're looking out trying to trying to figure out what the outcome is going to be um, and this this female this attractive young female says to me that you still have some attraction or connection to this person, but being that she's a female that is already spoken for, what it's saying to me is you kind of know that this relationship has met its end in the way that you know it. So as if to say the relationship cannot go back to what it was, but if there's more give and take in the relationship, there can be a healing and there may be a new beginning in a different kind of relationship. So like if, if you were together as a couple, maybe now you can be friends, but it's gonna require both of you to be the bigger person and, and uh, move out of this space of anger and resentment towards one another. Um, I wanted to pull some also on um, this Two of Swords. So you are feeling in this space of indecision again, um, because of this karmic connection and not wanting things to continue as they have been. We have um, the old acquaintance, uh, La uh, Legresia. This is the, um, the card that talks about tact or irritability, a lightness. Um, and then we have Vedovo. This is the male widower who reminisces on the past. So what this could be saying is that you're kind of, again, you're reminiscing on how things were in the past with this old friend or old acquaintance. But now between the two of you, there is this irritability, this aggression, um, and the situation is very fragile. And you're recognizing this. And they are too. It's like you're kind of at a standstill because neither of you know how to move forward. But what the cards are saying is in order to move forward, you both really have to focus on coming together and not just seeing what makes you different or what 
makes your opinions. Um, I, I just feel like you're both fighting, and it's it's like instead of sharing these coins, you're fighting over these coins. <laughs> Um, last one I am going to look at is these ten of uh, ten of wands. Okay, so on this ten of wands we have um, la reunion, some type of reunion. We have the next card was um, dinari. This can speak to money, but for me in my readings it can also speak to security and falsita, the lie. So. I feel, honestly, one of the messages I get is you are desiring a reunion with this person, but you're not saying so. You're lying. You're not um, being honest with your desire to um, be in a relationship with this person because you feel it threatens your security by doing so. Um, what this is also saying to me is that the fact that you have this karmic connection, it can be a heavy load for you. Um, I feel like this situation is something you haven't dealt with before. And like I said, you're both learning some valuable life lessons through this karmic relationship. Um, and the reunion and the security and the lie here, um, it can say to me that, you know, you have you maybe them too um there has been some lies there's been some deceit um between the two of you and it threatens the security and stability of what relationship you do have or can have in the future so there's a need for honesty there's a need for open communication and really hearing each other out um the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to pull an oracle card for another just overall um, message or energy for this reading. These oracle cards are called Oracle of Visions. And I love these cards because um, they have such beautiful imagery and beautiful messages to go along with their image. So I'm just going to shuffle here for a moment, pull a card for you. This is... Um, <clears throat> Card number 40, it shows a woman holding uh, an hourglass in her hand. It looks like the sands are spilling out from the hourglass and it's filled with light. So let's see what the message is associated with this card. Um, it says time and life. Time is a figure eight and its center, the city of deja vu. Time, the ultimate thief gradually takes from us and never gives back. A hooded priestess holds out her hand, offering us a lifetime in the form of an hourglass. Its shape suggests a silical nature that we might simply rotate and start afresh. In smaller issues, that may be true, and indeed, we often sense repetition. But in the larger sense, the hourglass is simply an illusion. In truth, such perceived patterns are merely detours along one's journey. Here we see that the golden sand does not merely fall to be recollected, but escapes and eventually the hourglass will be emptied. Time is a commodity that is never really ours, but merely something we have use for a given period. The only way to ensure the balance in our favor is for us to use our allotted time fully before it is taken from us. Live every day, hour and minute to its fullest. So um, I feel that this oracle card over this reading is saying that you're wasting time. Both of you are wasting time on being petty, fighting over past transgressions or um, past hurts. It's not to say that your hurts or your anger or whatever issues that have occurred are not meaningful and that there isn't a, there, it's not to say that you don't have a genuine reason for being upset and neither do they. But what it's saying is, is time is precious and you're wasting time by 
living in this space and this energy when you could be utilizing your time so much better. And I feel really honestly, my, my feeling over this energy is this relationship needs to be corrected. It needs to be fixed because even though you feel like there has been a strong ending in this relationship, there is, there is something or there is going to be something that still connects you to or binds you to together for a while longer.